Assalamu alaikum my dear students, how are you? I hope you are all well by the grace of Almighty. Welcome to NIEVS Home School. I am Ashish Bishash, an assistant teacher of mathematics in National Ideal English Version School, Morning Shift. Today I am going to take a math class for the student of class 4. My dear students, let us start our class. Today is our lecture number 7 of annual half yearly, sorry, half yearly 2021. My dear student, today's topic is exercise 2.6. From exercise 2.6, we shall solve two odd problem. Odd problem number 9 and odd problem number 11 as your CW. And it is a good news for you. There is no SW today. So my dear student, let us start our class. And this is your book. I think you all of, all of you have this book. Okay. And from this book, open page number 33. From page number 33, we shall solve odd problem number 9 and odd problem number 11. I have already written these two odd problems on the board. So, please notice this page number 33. 9. Shihab has taka 390 more than that of Gita. Do you understand? Shihab has 390 taka more than that of Gita. Okay. And Gita has taka. 470 less than that of Shimul <coughs> and Shimul has Taka 890 how much money do she have and Gita have so my dear student notice Shimul amount if is given which is uh, 890 Taka and notice Gita has 470 less than that of Gita that, that means if we subtract this 470 from Shimul's amount then we get Gita's amount and from this information we notice that Shihab has Taka 390 more than that of Gita that means we have already find out the Gita's amount so from that amount we add that amount with 390 and we get Shihab's amount do you understand how to use all this math i have already told you a lot of times that when you want to solve a odd problem at first you make a plan if you make a plan then it is easier for you to solve so from this question we notice that shimul's amount is given which is taka 890 from this information we find out the gita's amount because gita amount is less than 470 taka from shimul's amount so we subtract 470 from 890 and we get Gita's amount and you notice from Gita's amount we can find Shihab's amount because Shihab has 390 taka more than that of Gita so we add 390 taka with Gita's amount and we get Shihab's amount so uh, so by this way we find Shihab's amount and also Gita's amount so write first number 9 at first we find out the Gita's amount question number 9 so first of all we write Shimul has Shimul has Taka T A K A Taka 400 sorry 890 890 next Gita has Gita has Taka 470 470 less than you must write this information less than that of Shimul okay so now we do subtraction and find out Gita's amount so Gita has Taka now we do subtraction 0 if we subtract 7 from 9, we get 2. If we subtract 4 from 8, then we get 4. So, 420 taka. Okay. So, this is the one answer. That means Gita's amount. So, Gita's amount is already found. Now, we find out Shihab's amount. In order to find Shihab's amount, at first you write Gita has. Gita has how much taka? Gita has taka 420 then she have has how much taka she have has taka 390 more than that of you must write this information more than that of gita okay 
so now here we write therefore she have has she have has taka now we do addition that means 0 9 to 11 4 3 7 and 2 8 so 810 taka now we write answer she have has taka 810 and Gita has taka 420 okay my dear student I hope you have understood this math okay so next we shall solve question number 11 in order to solve question number 11 at first we need to plan in order to make plan at first we read the question my dear student it is very necessary to read a question before starting to solve it okay so shohag bought a motorcycle by taka 70000 i repeat shohag bought a motorcycle by taka 70000 okay then it cost 1500 taka for registration okay and taka 800 for repairing if he sells the motorcycle for taka 90000 how much profit will he get okay so my dear student please notice shuhak bought a motorcycle for taka 70000 that means the cost price of motorcycle is 70000 taka and for registration it needs 1500 taka and for repairing it needs 800 taka so what is the total amount so find at first we find out the total cost that means we do addition of 70000 taka 1500 taka and also 800 taka after that we find out the total cost and you notice that motorcycle is sold by 90000 taka so my dear student how can we get profit we get profit by subtracting cost price from selling price here selling price is 90000 taka and cost price is found by adding these three articles and we get the total cost price and subtracting cost price from selling price we get profit okay do you understand clear i repeat it again first of all we need to find out the total cost of motorcycle so in order to finding out the total cost of the motorcycle we do addition that means cost price of motorcycle registration cost and repair cost then we find out the total cost of the motorcycle after that we uh, subtract this total cost from the selling price and we get the profit clear okay in order to solve this math i it is this one So first of all you write 11 number the cost price of motorcycle is taka 70,000 okay then what is the registration cost the registration cost is the registration cost is taka 1500 the repair repairing cost is taka 800 so by using this information we find out the total cost of motorcycle so write the total cost of motor cycle equal to taka 0 0 8 5 13 
carrying 1, 1 on 2 and 7, 70, 2300 taka. Now, what is the selling price? The selling price of the motorcycle is the selling price of the motor cycle is taka 90,000 and the total cost price of the motor cycle is taka 72,000 300 so the profit is the profit is taka 0 0 7 carrying on 7 and 1 so the profit is how much taka profit is 17700 taka okay Taka 17,700. I hope you have understood, my dear student. This is our today's lecture, and there is no SW, no SW today, but you need to practice these two math in your at your home. So, practice more and more. Practice makes a man perfect. So, if you practice more and more times, then you will be good at mathematics. So, my dear student. I hope you have under, uh, understood my today's lecture. Keep practicing at home. Abide by your parents. See you soon. Till then, Assalamu Alaikum.